When writing a body paragraph for an academic essay, I want to provide an example, and I want to consider a possible comparative essay. Now, what I have here is a thesis statement, and I have the first topic sentence that might align with the very first key point listed at the end of the thesis statement. I'll provide an example of an evidence sentence that aligns with the topic uh, sentence, and an analysis sentence and a linking sentence. So I've broken down this paragraph here. I've itemized it and then I brought it together into a single paragraph. Let's consider a thesis statement. To become better informed when evaluating Formula One cars, fans should realize how modern Formula One cars excel over older models regarding structure, safety, and wheelbase. So in my thesis statement, I've included position in the form of an infinitive phrase, and you can see some examples. I have links uh, here on this page of other types of transitions. It can be a participial phrase, it can be a prepositional phrase, it could be a sentence connector, followed by a comma, and then we have the topic, in this case, fans, and then we have our claim. Should realize how modern. Formula One cars excel over older models regarding actually up until models. This is going to be the claim, some kind of connector. Now, in this case, I'm using regarding, but it could be the preposition by or through. It could be a subordinated conjunction like because if you're going to state reasons why something happens. Some form of connector or preposition here that then introduces the key points. In this case, I'm writing a five paragraph essay, so I want to try to develop three key points, one paragraph, one body paragraph per key point. Now for the topic sentence, I want to focus mainly on structure, and I want to follow the same order as I have listed here at the end of the thesis statement. So the topic sentence reads, car racing, for example, Formula One racing maintains its popularity because experts notice how the structure of the cars have improved over the last 30 years. So I am going to compare my entire essay. My comparative essay is going to compare past Formula One cars with current Formula One cars regarding structure, safety, and wheelbase. So this first paragraph, I'm going to focus on structure, and I have my main idea. Maintains popularity because experts notice how the structure of the cars have improved over the last 30 years. Now, my evidence sentence in the past had narrower front wheels. Now, I could probably change this to be a little bit more specific. In the past, Formula One cars. Now, it's relevant here, I think, if you're mentioning car racing and you've already mentioned Formula One, that perhaps saying the cars, we know which cars we're referring to. But if there is ever any confusion, uh, sometimes direct repetition can be used for clarification. Well, for now, we'll leave it as it is. In the past, cars had narrower front wings and smaller rear wings which reduced downforce and made them more challenging to drive. And now I have my citation. So this thought should be paraphrased in my view. Try to paraphrase someone else's idea. This is a little bit more technical information. Any details, facts, statistics, any examples, those are going to be good evidence sentences typically to include immediately after the topic sentence. Notice that I've introduced my evidence sentence immediately after the topic sentence, and later I will analyze it. Try to present the evidence first before you analyze. Try to include an evidence sentence before you introduce an analysis sentence. In this case, because I'm comparing and contrasting, I'll probably want to follow up with another sentence with a citation, another evidence sentence that now compares older cars with something related now to the structure of the car in terms of how they are how they're constructed currently so i would probably want to follow up sentence and i would include that immediately in this case 
in the third sentence. Once I've done that, I can introduce an analysis sentence. As the public becomes more knowledgeable about ongoing improvements to how cars are constructed, more will become interested in this exciting sport that offers wonderful entertainment for so many. My goal with my analysis sentence is to try to connect the evidence to the topic sentence. Perhaps the evidence is to offer some kind of warrant, some kind of grand or bigger idea that links to both the topic sentence and even could point back to the thesis statement. You're basically trying to connect the topic sentence or the evidence sentence with the topic sentence. My linking sentence in this case, because this is my first paragraph and I'm going to now write or say something about safety. My linking sentence will begin, besides structure, an increase in safety measures have also led to greater public demand for the sport. Again, I've introduced a phrase as I have an introductory phrase here in the past. Then I have linked this case to the idea of safety, which now will be the subsequent paragraph, the subsequent body paragraph that I'll talk about next. Now, a small detail regarding punctuation here. Whenever you have a, an introductory phrase, be a prepositional phrase, participial phrase, it could be a, an infinitive phrase. Anything less than five words typically does not require a comma. Five or more words, typically we would want to include a comma. Now the exception might be a sentence connector, which can be a single word or a group of words. Uh, that would be an exception, but usually introductory phrases, as I have, in have included here, usually are not required. Uh, a punctuation is usually not required. So here is what it would look like here together as my first body paragraph as it relates to the thesis statement. And this example hopefully will provide an, uh, some clarification here in terms of the differences between a topic sentence or the main idea of the body paragraph, an evidence sentence. Again, think in terms of details, facts, statistics, examples, Analysis sentence, which sets out to connect the evidence sentence with the topic sentence, and a linking sentence, in this case linking the main idea of the current paragraph with the main idea of the subsequent paragraph. Now as an alternative to the linking sentence, the last sentence of your body paragraph could also serve as a summary. And uh, this would probably be most appropriate in those cases where maybe it's the last body paragraph of a section or an essay and a summary would be more likely in those cases. So I hope this helps, and if you're developing an essay, always work closely with your instructor to get additional insights as to the expectations for creating the academic text. But uh, today's video is set out to help you with uh, an example, and in this case, we're using parenthetical citations that are paraphrased. And for those of you who have class with me, that would be my recommendation to paraphrase all citations and use parenthetical citations over narrative citations. Okay, we'll stop there. Again, uh, for those of you who have class with me, reach out to me if you have uh, any questions about writing a body paragraph.